Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us for this uh, introduction webinar to the new version of uh, Caesar FEA software. Um, today, we will focus on a geotechnical application in both 2D and 3D. I am David Romo. I am product manager I, at uh, iTech company, and uh, I'm very pleased to welcome you and uh, to show you these uh, new features in Caesar. So first, um, as I uh, started, uh, let's introduce myself and uh, the people who are behind Caesar. Uh, first, as I said, I'm from high tech company. High tech is an IT company. Uh, specialized in the um, edition of structural analysis software. We are in charge in the project of the development of the graphical user interface um, and also for all the marketing, training and support of users. So uh, we are as IT company and editor of software. We, are, we have also a, a catalog of other products like Accor for wood structural uh, analysis, Alize uh, for pavement structures analysis, and Geos5 uh, product from Fine Company. And uh, Geo5 is uh, dedicated to all the analytical methods for geotechnical analysis. Um, in the project CESAR, uh, University, well, University of uh, Gustave Eiffel is, uh, is in charge of the kernel. Uh, so University Gustave Eiffel, maybe you know it for, with former names like ISTAR or LCPC for Laboratoire Central des Ponts et Chaussées, uh, is a governmental uh, institute, um, a French institute, and uh, all the, the researchers and experts um, are uh, involved uh, in the areas of geotechnical engineering, materials and transport uh, infrastructures, and also all the civil engineering structures. So this combination of an IT company and a research institute leads to the development of CISA. So what you can do with um, CISA? Caesar first uh, uh, is a finite element code, as I said. Uh, we marketed uh, since the 90s. Uh, marketed since the 90s, but uh, developed by the LCPC uh, started in the 70s. Uh, Caesar is used on uh, major projects as well as the, the daily ones by our customers. Um, and uh, Cesar uh, covers the large scope of analysis possibilities. Uh, you can perform linear and nonlinear geomechanics, and transient and steady state hydrogeology, consolidation analysis, and uh, other aspects that I will not develop today, but uh, dynamics for structural analysis, for example, concrete at early edge analysis, or other uh, masonry type analysis. And finally, very um, specific fully coupled thermal mechanics uh, used by, uh, for example, a total for the, all the, the wells. So as I said, uh, during this uh, webinar, I will only focus on uh, these three topics um, to demonstrate all the capacities of CESAR. So for applied geotechnics, what will uh, CESAR, what is offering CESAR? Uh, for, for projects like embankments or deep excavations uh, for foundations, uh, CESAR 2D will propose um, uh, to, to generate the stage construction analysis. Uh, you can use it also for uh, stability of retaining structures um, and also for the, the analysis of the stage uh, construction of uh, tunnels. 
So what is proposed in 2D can also be uh, translated, transferred to the 3D. So you will find the same uh, capacities of analysis for all these uh, current type of um, geotechnical analysis like uh, stabilities and other uh, tunnel analysis. So finite element uh, method is used in CSR and uh, it will um, offer several type of analysis like settlement analysis, effort in structures and stability analysis. All these uh, type of projects are uh, easy to model with uh, CSR. Uh, we propose a very intuitive uh, modeling workflow. Um, so, as you see here, uh, all in one uh, interface, graphical interface, will allow you to, to, to generate, of course, the geometry, to generate the finite element mesh, to assign uh, properties of materials, materials. Uh, soil materials but also structural uh, uh, structures and uh, we can propose a stage manager so that you can uh, follow all the stage construction and apply different type of loads so that you model accurately uh, your project and we see here also that uh, the uh, CSR also offers um, several uh, types of physics. So you can do dynamics, uh, ground water flow, thermal analysis, and other uh, types as I introduced uh, earlier. Finally, when uh, you generated your uh, stage construction, you can analyze, launch the calculation, and uh, see the results. Uh, and uh, edit some uh, charts. So this is a very quick overview of the software. And now I will go um, in more details. And um, for this, um, as I want to promote the uh, CSR as an essential tool for geotechnical uh, engineers, uh, I will uh, use a quite common type of uh, project. As you see here, it's a, um, an excavation supported by a retaining wall with a, um, or an ensured retaining wall. And uh, with this uh, model, I will show uh, all the features for the um, proposed like um, different material models. Uh, for the soil, but also for the structural elements and, and uh, also for the soil structure interaction with interface elements. I will also uh, focus on some um, groundwater uh, conditions. And finally, uh, you can see all the, uh, again all the possibilities offered for the stage construction analysis. So in geometry, in details, um, we, can, we propose a very uh, complete uh, set of tools for the uh, generation of, um, of your geometry. Um, so tools for drawings, but also tools for um, uh, specific elements. So, of course, if you prefer uh, to work with external uh, CAD software like uh, Autodesk, you can import uh, the XF files. And uh, as we already show, um, you can also work with some uh, assistance for ensures. Uh, CSR uh, also integrates a uh, specific uh, mesh algorithm. As you see, you can uh, perform very complete, accurate uh, mesh uh, and adjustable uh, mesh. 
And um, just to show, uh, these are also first several types of meshing. So you can make mix uh, triangles and uh, and quadrangles, so that you have a very uh, it will propose a, it will uh, during analysis it will get you will get more accurate uh, results. What I introduced in uh, 2D can also be translated to 3D. Of course, in 3D we will propose more uh, more tools like uh, all the Boolean operations for intersections, uh, fusions of bodies, and uh, other uh, volume elements. And um, so you see on this uh, quick movie uh, that uh, you can you can uh, perform all the uh, uh, tools, all the, um, sorry, all the, 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 the actions for intersections, uh, generating some uh, extrusion and so on. And finally, when we get the, the, the accurate, the, the appropriate uh, geometry, you can use the regular or tetrahedron uh, measures uh, so that you can fill all the structure with these uh, type of elements, finite elements. And you see that uh, finally, you can, um, you can have your mesh complete and ready for the calculations. So these tools, uh, so I chose this, um, how they are used by your, by your customers. For example, here we have a project of a new uh, embankment in blue here, um, perpendicular to an existing uh, rail tracks, and embankment with uh, rail tracks. So you see how you can, how, uh, you can get in, uh, go in details for these uh, type of models. And also we propose some um, uh, also powerful tools to integrate uh, reinforcement. For example, here, um, vertical beams. And I will uh, introduce her uh, later. Uh, what, is this, uh, what, are these, uh, what are these beams? So what is uh, proposed in, uh, Embankments can also be very uh, powerful in um, for tunnel analysis. You see here a project uh, made by Vinci in uh, uh, in, uh, in Paris. Um, you see again the details that you can uh, design with uh, Caesar. And again, it's not only details; it's important to have these. Uh, this level of details for an accurate uh, analysis. In CESAR, uh, we also offer some assistance for the geometry. So you can uh, find some uh, script files. These script files in 2D and 3D will, for example, um, uh, help the tunnel engineer to, to design specific sections in 2D as well in 3D. So this is a gain of time to generate the tunnel sections. This type of uh, script uh, you can access as a user because you can edit these uh, scenarios and you can also script some uh, features with a Python language. Um, with the growing demand on the uh, beam, we also integrate uh, some relations with um, uh, some uh, so with external software. And for this, we developed uh, import of uh, the XF and land XML files. I introduce here um, how we work with uh, Geo5 static graphy. Uh, short. Uh, briefly, uh, stratigraphy is um, 
is a tool for 3D modeling of your uh, ground project. So you can import your uh, in situ data, your investigations, and uh, generate from this analysis the, um, uh, the different layers of your project. So it is important to get this information and to use it. Um, so for example, uh, if, we, if we keep the, if we remain in 2D, uh, we can export the XF, we can export cuts. And, and thus uh, in, in CESAR, you can generate uh, a model with an accurate uh, definition of the layers. And you can also export uh, in 3D. So in 3D, you, you export land XML files. And again, in CESAR, you can uh, perform this, uh, this type of accurate analysis. So here again, a gain of time, when you are using external software, you can uh, export the maximum of data in CESAR. We are developing other uh, uh, link with um, uh, IFC uh, imports, for example. So now that we define how we can model, you can define the geometry, the mesh, um, let's go more deeply in the extensive uh, features that we propose for the finite element modeling. Uh, first of all, for, of course, for uh, geotechnic technical analysis, it's important to to, to introduce uh, material models adapted for soil analysis. So here I just listed uh, standard, some standard uh, material models uh, already integrated in the software, like Mark Coulomb, Ardenin soil model, CAM clay, more suited for clay analysis, Drucker Prager, or other uh, Hook which is more dedicated for rock analysis. Uh, these can be completed because we propose more than uh, 20 uh, criteria so that a uh, user can also um, access other type of uh, and, uh, material so you can uh, you can define some um, you can use uh, civil materials like concrete and masonry we have uh, relevant uh, material models for this and uh, user can also in more expert uh, mode uh, use uh, define his own material models with a toolbox a specific toolbox and uh, finally also introduce um, a tensor model so uh, this model is um, used for geogrids and uh, it's a kind of homogenization. So now that we have defined the material models, uh, it's important also to uh, define the initial stress field for your uh, analysis. So we propose several uh, stress field initialization. The first one is a K0 uh, procedure, so the lateral uh, uh, pressure coefficient. Uh, it's more dedicated for horizontal layers. You can also use a self rate procedure. So you you define you apply the gravity on your soil layers defined by density and uh, ocean ratio. You can also initialize your model with uh, introducing the water table uh, level. And finally, for uh, clays, you can also integrate the OCR ratio by layer um, to define this uh, level of uh, consolidation, initial consolidation of uh, clay layers, for example. So uh, now continue this definition of uh, libraries with the loads. So now we want to load our uh, soil layers. For this, uh, of course, we will propose um, a stage construction 
tools so that you can model embankments or excavation and any type of adding or removing of material during the construction process. Uh, after you can find, uh, I would say, standard uh, type of loading like nodal forces, uniform or non-uniform pressures, hydrostatic pressures, and more um, uh, also more specific tools like thermal stress field that I will introduce later, and also some pseudostatic, uh, uh, would say acceleration, so that you can do some pseudostatic uh, dynamics, horizontal uh, dynamics, and pilot it. It's important to know that um, user can uh, introduce his own uh, loading function, so he can pilot the. Um, the loading with a very in a very accurate way to generate, for example, a loading or, or unloading or some uh, pseudo static acceleration. And uh, finally, we also propose um, simplified long term effects, uh, long term effects to model the soil or concrete evolutions with time. All these uh, tools are supported by, by uh, finite, element, finite elements. And so we, are, we propose 1D bodies, uh, like bar or beam elements. Uh, in 3D, we call shell elements, uh, 2D or 3D surface and volume elements. And also, very important for the salt structure interaction, we, can, we propose interface element to model the bonding, the friction, or the sliding between um, structural elements, for example, structures and uh, soil. And also, these uh, interface elements will, uh, will have an important effect during the water flow analysis, because they will, uh, they will help us to define the permeable, permeable or impermeable uh, behavior of the structural elements. Uh, yes, again, as an um, extension, you can say that uh, for more expert analysis, you can define your own uh, elements and also some nodal relations between uh, your elements. Now, uh, I, focus, I will focus here on the specific tools proposed by Cesar for the soil reinforcement. First, um, some discrete modeling of reinforcement. Uh, I will take uh, as example uh, a vertical loading of a pile. Uh, you see here the with the standard bar we have a, a bounding of the soil with the nodes of the standard bar. If I use a um, specific friction bar, I will be able to model uh, soil structure interaction so that um, the ensure I can define for the ensure a behavior introducing a coefficient of interaction, the CI uh, coefficient presented here. Uh, this uh, coefficient takes into account the lateral friction on the shaft, and you introduce also the, the I coefficient. The I coefficient is the maximum value of the interaction, meaning that. If uh, during the, the analysis the, um, uh, we reach this uh, this maximum value, then there will be the uh, rupture between the the nodes of the bar and the node of the of the soil. This uh, discrete modeling, and uh, if I come back to my um, uh, the, my standard uh, model. Uh, I can also model. Um, I can also use these type of elements for for the modeling of uh, ensures. And uh, here, for ensures, of course, we can um, introduce the pressurized properties, but we can also introduce uh, nonlinear behavior, like, for example, loss of uh, loss of uh, rigidity or a loss of uh, here, for example, a brutal failure. 
So again, for more, uh, more in, for in details investigation of your models, uh, we propose uh, what is required. We, we presented uh, solve reinforcement with a discrete elements. I present now um, tools that uh, are using homogenization method. So this, uh, this method will be helpful for micropiles or boards uh, modeling. What is um, the advantage of this? Is that, for example, uh, to, if I consider, if I uh, show this example, for example, for Bolt's uh, tunnel, uh, usually we generate bolts with discrete uh, analysis. This means that I already define the length, the number of bolts, and all the, the, the relations between the bolts. If I uh, use, if I'm using now the homogenization method, uh, it, it will be very helpful for me because I can adjust the number of boards uh, and also some parameters like the relative density and all the, the, the parameters introduced in the bar behavior. So you see these two types of uh, analysis are quite similar leading to same results, but in one hand, in one side, I will be able to do some parametric studies, so very helpful for the uh, geotechnical project. I can repeat this kind of uh, analysis for nailing. Uh, here again, I present two models, one with discrete analysis. So again, here I, uh, I had to define the length and the number of nails. But here, in this model, uh, I'm more free to, to adapt the number of uh, uh, density of nails and the length of nails. And again, here, to get, this, the, the, to get similar uh, behavior and safety factor. I introduce these safety factors. Um, maybe you know this, uh, well, you know this uh, method, uh, the C5 reduction method. Um, so this method consists of uh, reducing the soil strength and uh, the, to get the stability by the lower bound. So compared to analytical method, finite element is a uh, Finite element method is uh, uh, is always looking for uh, for a, uh, a stability, a displacement stability. So we can uh, not uh, we can only approach the stability by um, defining some uh, lower bounds. I present here uh, some results we made uh, on the retaining wall. So we studied this retaining wall stability. Um, this, this model is from a benchmark uh, uh, developed by the uh, German uh, Geotechnical Society. And we see here how accurate we can approach the, um, the, the overall stability and uh, of course the safety factors associated to this. Uh, stability. Again, if I come back to my uh, retaining wall, with my, to my unsured uh, model, I can also use this uh, uh, safety factor analysis to calculate um, the safety factor for each step of the project. This is very uh, important, for example, uh, for the EC7, it is recommended to get a safety factor at each step of the model. Safety factor are also uh, used for uh, the research of an ultimate load. So ultimate load in geotechnics uh, can be the bearing capacity of soil. So as illustration here, we see the bearing capacity 
of the soil uh, loaded by um, uh, well I lo <laughs> we load here um, a shallow foundation near a slope and we get the buried capacity of the soil in this condition in tunneling uh, this uh, research of ultimate load is also a tool to get the phase stability so to define the limit uh, support pressure So after all this consideration uh, on geomechanics, now we introduce the groundwater conditions. Uh, when we introduce the groundwater, we, we have now to introduce the drained and undrained analysis. So based on uh, short-term, long-term uh, uh, material parameters, but we can also perform some consolidation analysis. So consolidation analysis introducing uh, the time. So we have a full coupled uh, uh, mechanical and time analysis. Evolution of the mechanics during time. <clears throat> I uh, illustrate this with um, an example. Uh, so we have here an embankment on a consolidating layer. I show here the results if I'm performing a drain analysis or mechanical analysis or a drain analysis, so we get, we reach some uh, settlements for short term and long term uh, uh, behavior. And I compare this to the consolidation. So during consolidation with time, uh, for example, after 12 days, we can compare the the vertical settlement to the um, to the undrained behavior, and for the drained behavior, we can compare it to the long-term uh, consolidation after uh, uh, several months. Uh, for this type of analysis, we, you can you can use all the materials. Or the, the library of uh, material models uh, integrated in CIDA. Uh, this type of android analysis, of course, can be applied very easily for the, in a very easy way on the on our model here on our uh, uh, support. Sorry, on our excavation. And uh, okay, it's just uh, an additional uh, parameter that you introduce for the behavior of the material. Groundwater conditions uh, also introduce some um, uh, flow in steady state or transient way. Uh, also, uh, this uh, this flow. Uh, can be applied in saturated or unsaturated materials. I show here uh, the drawdown in a tunnel in a steady state way. And here is the, the same uh, type of analysis in transient way. So CESAR is equipped to, to generate this type of uh, analysis in 2D, but also in 3D. Uh, show here the evolution of the water head uh, when I uh, perform the flow through a dike. Uh, here, just uh, uh, in details, we see that there is a, a kind of a, a structure that will um, influence the flow through the dike. So this kind of analysis, I can again apply it to my um, excavation with my uh, supported wall. Uh, you see here I performed um, a steady state analysis where I'm generating uh, a new um, waterhead field and this field um, I can use it um, to generate my, uh, my evolution of water table. Previously I defined it as a variable um, initial and uh, final uh, position, so with uh, 
I would say, geometrical positions. So, uh, more a simplified uh, definition. And now I can import my uh, the results of my uh, um, of my flow, my transient analysis, so that uh, uh, it will be more accurate. So this kind of uh, analysis, mixing diffusion and mechanic, I can also apply it to uh, thermal analysis. Uh, we see here the steady state, uh, again, uh, for uh, temperature field calculation, can be performed in steady state or transient analysis with linear or nonlinear conductivity. So in geomechanics, uh, uh, an example, of this uh, application could be the, um, uh, for example, uh, the simulation of a, a fire in a tunnel. So I generate the the field of uh, temperature. Uh, you see, we apply the temperature on the tunnel lining, and this uh, temperature, this field of temperature, I can use it now as a thermal loading meaning that i will uh, generate a stress a stress field uh, uh, generated by this gradient of temperature and as a result i can see the influence of the, the variation of temperature in my lining on the uh, of course on the lining behavior but also on the surrounding soil behavior So uh, we, are pro we are approaching the end of the presentation. Just an overview of some results. Uh, we, I already presented several type of results. Um, just to sum up, of course, you can uh, display some uh, uh, isoscalar plot on uh, and choose the increment of uh, uh, of load that um, uh, that you want to analyze. Um, you can get accurate uh, results uh, on the structural elements. So here, for example, on the wall and the unshows, you get the normal forces, bending moment or uh, shear forces. You can extract uh, tables from uh, each uh, element or each group of elements of, of your model. And of course, we propose uh, tools to generate charts so that you can uh, uh, plot any kind of uh, displacement or stresses uh, generated in your model. This in 2D can, uh, can also be proposed in 3D, as, a, as I show here on, the, on a very large model, large 3D model. Uh, you can, of course, follow the evolution of the settlements because uh, here the model was uh, was created, edited to, to, to evaluate the settlements at the surface. And also, we can go in details on the structural element uh, behavior. So you can uh, get uh, stresses and other results to uh, design your uh, lining uh, in this kind of analysis. Okay, so as conclusion, I, want, I would like here to sum up some uh, all the enhancements offered by the version uh, uh, 2020 of CSR. Um, there are very numerous performance improvements. Uh, of course, it's uh, ideal for the user, but uh, all the modeling actions, all the meshing process, and all the calculations times are improved so that it's very uh, fluent for the user and uh, it offers, uh, it offers uh, the user a gain of time. Uh, so with this performance, of course, we're, we're, we, we propose a more intuitive uh, user experience, but also a richer one with uh, 
lots of uh, libraries. Uh, this version is more open, open to uh, other external software by importing uh, some data, and also more open in the way that user can uh, edit his own uh, script or data files. And finally, this version is also integrated in a development cycle for a continuous validation so that um, you can ask us for the, all the validation uh, process and some uh, benchmarking we are doing on this uh, on this software. I focused during uh, also this webinar on some um, uh, specific tools proposed by Cesar in this version. So all the stored switcher interaction with uh, interface uh, behaviors, the friction bar. Uh, for win soil reinforcement. Uh, I introduced all the groundwater conditions that uh, you can model in saturated or unsaturated soils. And also, one of the uh, main feature, main um, strong point of CESAR is all the management of multiphysics. So I introduced here mechanics and, and uh, ideology mixing. Uh, but you uh, the, you can also perform some mechanics and uh, temperature mixing. So that's all for this first uh, webinar, for this uh, introduction uh, webinar of uh, CIDAR. I uh, would like uh, you to keep in touch uh, with us. So first of all, uh, don't hesitate to contact us uh, on our website, website uh, cesarlcpc.com, you can find all the good event information to get your demo version, uh, to get the, 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 the program of uh, webinars, and also to, to get the training session. Uh, uh, we propose training session um, uh, with um, online procedures or uh, also on uh, on-site uh, 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 sessions. You can also follow us uh, all the news on LinkedIn or on YouTube channel. You will find uh, this uh, webinar video, but also some other videos introducing, uh, introducing features of uh, CIDA. Okay, uh, thank you all for uh, your participation. Uh, feel free to contact us for any information on the software, any quote, so that uh, you can um, you can use CIDAR uh, tomorrow in your uh, in your office. Goodbye.